Good morning, my angel. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, my little man? You think I'm going to take your bully stick? Somebody is a little teething sausage. We found a little sausage tooth on the floor and he's been having a little bit of a, a struggle with it, haven't you? Oh, taking yourself back to bed. You are such a good boy, aren't you? So we made him a little frozen banana for him to chew on, which he had last night. I don't actually think he liked it, but we gave him another one this morning just to call his little puppy dog gums. But he seems a lot more settled. I've actually just, just left him and I asked the gardeners and they said that he barked a little bit when they arrived but he's been absolutely fine. And that is the sound of my other angel. Hello, you gorgeous girl. Got two little gorgeous animals here. Good morning, everyone. I am looking particularly pale because I am completely tan free. I actually have just got back from my first laser appointment since I think it was December I had my last like full body. So I went to Tatum at Derma Spa and had full body laser and I was literally the whole time just like Tatum it's so good to see you but yes I live for my laser appointments as a fluffy lady I I desperately need them and so I've been counting down the minutes but I had to make sure that I had a clean canvas for obviously having laser because you can't have fake tan on. It means that I get to apply a, fake, a fresh layer today because we are walking to the pub. My publicist is coming up to see me, Chris, and Carrie is coming and we're all gonna walk to the pub together and head and have some drinks at one of the local pubs that I love. So I'm gonna get myself glammed up right now because I need to, to get some tan on my face and on my, my body basically. Today is very exciting because we are actually kick-starting from what I understand. I don't know whether much will happen today, but the, the guys that are coming to do our flower beds and give me the cottage garden that I have been striving for, basically, they are coming today to begin, but mainly I think they're just sort of dropping off their bits and pieces. So we were recommended these guys by our friends and they put us in touch and so far they have been amazing like one thing i love is when people exceed my expectations it's because my expectations are so high and this guy is another level i think i've spoken about him pre previously in another video but even the fact that they're coming a day earlier so they're not supposed to start until tuesday and today is friday we've got a bank holiday weekend and they are starting half a day earlier my expectations are exceeded to the greatest degree, which obviously pleases me greatly. We've had a whole week of no workmen in the house, obviously because we have now wrapped up and we've just been living and enjoying our home and getting settled. I still need to organize like my beauty stuff. I love that my husband has already organized his beauty stuff, basically. So yeah, it's been, it's been a chilled week and I actually haven't vlogged that much. My site went live, yes, yesterday yesterday and it was up and we had sized up for like traffic i obviously i don't know you know i don't know how much of you are going to be interested in my blog so we sized up to a, a i think a bigger server this is way above me and the site went down within i think it was half an hour which none of us were anticipating and I don't think any of us were anticipating the traffic in that respect. I always love to hype myself because I am my biggest fan but what happened after that is I think that it like it knocked the site off and there was like a the server is basically too busy sign being displayed and then something else has happened I don't know but the site is currently down but do you know what I just feel like this is just building the hype like these situations are what you make them and this, you can wait, you know, you can wait. Good things come to those who wait is the one thing that I have always learned. And so I know that some of you got through and you got to have a look around and the feedback was just wonderful. Even if the feedback wasn't wonderful, I am so happy with this site and my branding. It feels so me that it, it really, it wouldn't, I hate to say it, but it wouldn't affect me <laughs> because like, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I love. This is everything that I have ever wanted to do. And I don't, I just don't do that for, for anyone else. And so I'm glad that you like it. Obviously pumped, totally like overjoyed, but in the same breath is like, what was important to me was that how this felt 
and I have never been more proud. Even though my sight is down, I've never been more proud. And these are the things that really kind of define these moments, I think. And so, yeah. And everyone's working so hard and I always knew that there would be like issues and teething issues because it's perfectly normal and perfectly acceptable in this day and age. I have no expectations for these kinds of things other than I know that anything can happen. It's truly wonderful, it really is. I just can't wait for more of you to get to have a look around and also just to be able to use my website in the way that I have always wanted to do so. So it's all good. I am now gonna go and get myself ready though because I'm not gonna have a long chat with you here because I have some stuff to do. I did want to head to the old flight house today again, I know, but I wanted to pick up some bits that I've seen on their Instagram from there, but I don't know if I'm gonna get time. So I might go tomorrow and also head to the rec yard just to have a look around basically. But I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We have so many days free this weekend that I just, I'm spoiled for choice. But most importantly, let's go and get, get ready because I'm ready for a glow up. I cannot tell you the joy that this room brings me. Like just these cushions alone bring me so much joy. What I wanted to say is that we've been enjoying our bathroom. You can see the, uh, the, the van outside, but we have been enjoying this bathroom so much. What I want to get is some decanters for like all of our bits and pieces and all of our stuff. However, I'm in here because I used this for the first time ever. I have never used this product. This is the Saint Tropez Tan Remover prep and maintain. I've never used this before and it is unreal, like absolutely unreal. The reason why I used this was because I am completely out of sync with my like laser hair removal and I completely forgot that you have to not have any fake tan on. So I got to Monday morning and I fake tanned and then I was like, sugar, on Friday I've actually got laser hair removal. And I thought, oh, you know, it, it'll fade, it'll fade. <laughs> I used the Saint Tropez Purity Gel and it lasted so long that I had to use this this morning. Never used this before. This is not a product that I've like ever promoted or anything like that and I've not been asked to promote this, but it is serious, like so, so good. And basically I just kind of used it like a shower gel and used it with my exfoliating mitt and just applied it to all of like the tough areas where tan was like clinging to basically and i now have the most perfect base ever so i'm now ready for a full head to toe glow up thanks to this so so good i wonder if any of you guys have used this before and do you use like tan removers because usually i just gently exfoliate so it's not something that i like generally use to remove my tan i just exfoliate moisturize and it fades but because i needed that little oomph to get rid of the tan it's amazing. So great if you've had one of those moments where you're like, sugar, I forgot I can't be tanned. Save the day. <laughs> so this is me now looking rather pale and interesting. And I'm gonna get myself ready now. It's actually a lot later on in the day. It's about three o'clock now. So this is not when I would usually tan, but because I knew I was having laser, I knew it's gonna be a little bit different today. I'm wearing a Omen R top that says, good woman, wild soul, what else does it say? Strong heart, which of course. <laughs> and these are my options of choice. Oh, this is definitely not tan. This is my leave-in conditioner, which is almost finished. This is generally what I go for. I feel like it would be good to give you a breakdown at the moment because I have been using tans that I haven't been using for a while. So I just thought this was easy. I mean, this is always a non-negotiable. I use this whatever tan I'm using, basically. I even use it if I'm not tanning because this is just the best. So we can put that to one side. Now, I usually use the Saint Tropez Advanced One Hour Tan Bronzing Mousse, the Express. This is what I usually use. However, this was the tan that I've been using recently because I've been buying so many beautiful like dresses, like white floral Erdem dresses, for example. I've been using this because I forget how much easier it is to tan and go when I'm using this. So this was what I used that hadn't washed off by the end of the week that I was like, ah! Oh. Obviously not washing off is usually a good thing, but I needed it to come off. So I used the tan remover, but I am tanning a little bit later on in the day today. So I am reaching for my Ashley Graham, the glow kit because this is like an instant tan and a tan in one and I'm gonna need a bit more of an instant glow up because I don't have development time because we are gonna be going to the pub any second now. So this is like my general tan, what I use when I'm tanning normally. This is what I want to use if I have to tan and wear something beautiful. And this is for days like this. So 
These are my weapons of choice. Now it's time to glow up. So, three, two, one. There we have it. I thought I would show you my glow up before I put my outfit on, but that is a good old layer of tan. And this is why I love this product so much at the moment, because when I have those days where I get to the end of the day and I'm like, I haven't been able to tan, but we're doing something sociable or something like that. It's just, it fills a gap in my like tanning wardrobe, if that makes sense, because having that instant element to it really does make a difference. Cause this is just me applying it and then having done my makeup. So it's not like a guide color. It's supposed to be really sort of durable, if that's the right word. Transfer like minimally, if that makes sense as well. But it is an instant tan, so I wouldn't wear this like with one of my favorite, most expensive dresses, for example. But we are going for a walk to the pub. So I'm gonna have leggings on, probably some boots and something warm, but I just wanted to have that glow. And I think we've achieved that. I will pop a link to all of the bits that I use in terms of like my tanning wardrobe in the description box down below. And uh, you can shop it there. We actually did a Zoom with Ashley Graham the other day and it really did just remind me how much of a pep in my step I get when I'm fully, <laughs> that was like a rhyme, <laughs> a pep in my step when I get my tan on. But yeah, it does make such a difference. Like when I get fully like glammed up, even though I'm only going to the pub and um, I'm not gonna be dressed up, but it does make me feel so much better to have a tan and a full face of makeup. Now it's time to choose an outfit that is practical, but sassy. I've also been sent this little Tom Ford set. There's some little compacts that go in the top there, but I've already filed them away for testing. But I wanna try this oh, fragrance out. I can't get it out. But I think they also sent some truffles. This might have come with someone different, but I've always wanted to try these Booja Booja truffles. So I'm gonna hide them from Ali though, because I got sent some other truffles the other day and I didn't even get to have one. Being perfectly honest, it is going to be freezing. So as much as I wanna look sassy, I have gone for warm and practical. This is the Amazon roll neck that I got the other day and it fits actually really nicely and it's kind of perfect to go under this. I'll probably put something over the top anyway, but they're just really good like under layers. And then I've got a little Cordings gilet. And I went for the Soleil Brulant from Tom Ford. This bottle is pretty wonderful and smells so nice. It's got like a real kind of sweetness to it and then a really subtle spice, which I love. But then it's got all of the wonderfulness that you would associate with a summer fragrance. Even though I don't look like it's summer because it's actually quite cold and it's gonna rain all weekend, I'm channeling summer vibes with this fragrance. Guess who was roughly today years old when they learned that the straps in the Hermes boots actually come out and you can wear them without the sort of Kelly buckle on them. I say roughly today is old because I have been wearing them like this for a while because I found out about a week ago, I think, maybe two weeks ago and didn't tell you guys, but yeah, I had no idea that you could just loop them out of the back. So then it doesn't matter what handbag you wear with them because you've got no hardware. Look at this little man sneaking over here. He's in one bed, then he's out the other. Good boy. But yeah, absolutely love these and I'm very, very happy to have found out they are more versatile as well. I just made Ali take one of them off because I thought there was a stone in my shoe. It was not a stone, it was a dog treat in the end of this shoe. But I'm in the kitchen now just giving it a bit of a tidy up and I've had a very lovely set of deliveries. First and foremost, I've been very, very excited about this. Oh my goodness if you know I, I can't believe how excited i get over this brand but this is kinfil's latest launch which is called flower shop and it came with like a little sample card that you could smell and it is absolutely beautiful i've never smelt cleaning products like theirs they really have just done the most this is dear lydia we wanted to say thank you for making us a part of your home enjoy your new fragrance love the kinfil team and when I saw this launch on their Instagram, I was like, I need this in my life. So here it is. It comes in a little cardboard box and it's just a little vial of the, uh, like it's not a detergent because it's all natural and sustainable. Obviously, if you're interested in that thing, it makes it very handy. But um, yeah, it comes in a little glass vial about that big. You just pour it in, add water and there you go. So this one, I believe, is just their multi-purpose, which for me is the one that I use the most. So they've included, oh, they've included flower seeds. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen such beautiful flower seeds? And they've got a bee on them, which I think means that they are bee friendly, which will make Mr. Millen Gordon very happy. But yes, there's two vials in a pack. 
one of their other fragrances, um, I can never remember which one it is or what the name is, but it smells as if like it was a diptyque fragrance. But this one is basically the same equivalent. It smells like an extremely expensive perfume, but with that clean house freshness as well. And that's why I love their products. Just so, so good. And then whilst we're on the subject of deliveries, because I'm just going through them at the moment, this arrived from Space NK and what a wonderful delivery. It says, life sometimes feels, feels a little bit overwhelming. In those moments, take some time for yourself and relax with our pick of the best bath and body products available at Space NK. Our friends at The Sleep Stories, a small business, have also uh, enclosed a pair of their pyjamas. Lots of love, Ginny and Blair. Which, this is just so wonderful. We've got a candle. We've got some Oskia cleansing gel. We have Audacity Mood Cleanse, which I love audacity so at the moment that i have my bath because we actually don't have a single bath in the house at the moment because our only bath is on its way should be here june fingers crossed uh, then we've got the charcoal smoothie jelly body scrub from sunday riley and the sleep deep sleep body cocoon is it a moisturizer or is it a what is it it just says a sleep savior for better nights and brighter mornings i think it says lotion for your hands and body, if I can read French accurately, which probably I can't. Diddy, I don't know why those are in a Royal Mail thingy, but we've got some lovely pajamas from the Sleep Stories, which are lovely and piped, which I love a piped pair of pajamas. So they will be very lovingly used. I do love fresh pajamas. So I'm gonna pop them right at the end of my bed for tonight. I failed to mention that it also came with this lovely bath caddy i think they're called so you can pop it across your bath and prop things up on it if you want to have a glass of wine or something like that it makes it very very handy which is such a nice gift so thank you so much space nk you are just the most lovely and i'm very very grateful for all of this stuff good morning little one we are experiencing the last day of what looks like sunshine. I don't know if I've said that already in this vlog, but it was supposed to start last week. We were supposed to start having almost 10 days of rain. It's still not come yet. We've had little showers, but we haven't had like a full downpour for an entire day, which we're so well known for in the UK. So yeah. I'm hoping that it's tomorrow. I mean, I'm not hoping. I'm kind of hoping my attitude towards rain has changed so much. Oh, Ali, your um, thingy's going off. Yeah, my attitude towards rain has changed so much since obviously getting out in the garden and getting my kitchen garden sorted because, I mean, have you seen my water butt is nearly completely full? How is it? Yeah, well, I say nearly completely. I mean, it's like three quarters, no, yeah, three quarters of the way full. I've never had a full water butt. I have a second one coming soon from Garden Trading because I want to capture as much rainwater as humanly possible for the garden. It would be really nice to have like two days of sunshine, two days of rain. Of course, yeah. <laughs> two days of sunshine, two days of rain. That would be perfect. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> um, but no, we are set to have a few days of rain. It's looking like 100% rain tomorrow. And we do need it because Ali has been busy seeding the grass. And um, the only thing that I am worried about is that it could be so rainy that it stops the guys from doing the flower beds, which yeah. starts tomorrow. Wow. Fingers crossed. They did say that they tend to sort of power through, but if it gets really bad, like they can't. Ali has been up making for capture and um, I'm looking forward to having some of that later on, fingers crossed it goes well. I actually want to take a walk down to the village today because basically I've booked on this uh, foraging course with Zana and we're doing it in a couple of weeks time I think with a lady called Fern and I followed her instantly when Zana suggested it and she's done this recipe of cherry blossom jam and there's a cherry blossom tree, well there's two but I think one of them is privately owned and one of them is like a public one. We don't have a very like voluminous cherry blossom tree in our garden. And in the video, Fern advises how to pick the cherry blossom sympathetically so that it doesn't affect the tree. And I'm gonna try and make my own cherry blossom jam because I bought loads of jam sugar in the summer and ended up using all of the berries from the garden in crumble. So I want to make some jam. So I've got some pots coming tomorrow, just some sort of small individual ones that aren't too big because the jam will last for a year, but if you open them, obviously they don't then last for a year and you need to consume them within seven days. So that's what I'm intending to do. Hopefully, if I can get down to the village today to pick some of the, the blossoms, I'm gonna do that. Are you gonna ask something? 
You look, you sounded like you were going to ask something. I was more worried about what you were going to ask. What, that you were going to come with me? Yes, no, I'm not. You are? I'm not. You are? I'll, I'll do the, uh, the rest of the gardening bit. Yeah, but when it gets to the evening. <laughs> I'm not picking the, the thing, with, the thing with Ali, okay, <laughs> Ali is, has been advised by his doctor to come on walks, okay? So every day when I go on a walk, I say to him, babe, do you want to come on a walk I with me? I have been going. I've also been doing a dinner every day of the week. You've been on I've two been walks this week. Anyway, so I always ask him to come on walks with me, especially when it's a bank holiday weekend. He should be coming on walks with me. He will be coming on a walk with me later. Plus, I need him to help me pick the cherry blossoms, so he knows I won't do it without him there. <laughs> we actually went out yesterday and you didn't come with us, and um, we went to a reclamation yard near where we live and we found these incredible butcher's blocks and this is something that I've always wanted to do in this kitchen is add in this section of our island because our island is huge okay it's, it's a really lovely sized island and I think that it would be really really helpful for us to have like inbuilt wooden chopping boards I just think it would be so much easier for us and so we found this now obviously it is a little bit short but I would love to recess this or one that's kind of bespoke made into the island that's something I've always wanted to do so cut out this section and then put this in because we've got so much space and so much worktop that it would work really well but this is just so beautiful it weighs an absolute ton and all of these little swirls in here are like the age of the the trees that we use to make this but they've got loads of different sizes there and we just thought that these little what are they called metal corners are just so so perfect so just I think they just used to brace the uh, yeah the, the external wood but I love it. I love the finish of it. I love how it looks. This corner just makes me so happy. I took a picture of this and put it on my Instagram, on the home Instagram account. And it just looks so, so lovely. So this was something that we picked up yesterday and I'm just in love with it. But on here is my coffee grounds. I've got another pot of these in the greenhouse, but I'm saving these up because when we went to Dalesford, they had this help yourself to their coffee grounds. And apparently these are really, really amazing fertilizers for your soil. So even though I've got peat free soil in there already, it's no harm done adding more to it and making sure that there's no waste from our coffee. You can add this to your compost, but I think you have to add a brown composting substance, which obviously that's way above my head. Or you can just add it directly to your soil apparently as well putting it around the base is a really good slug deterrent if you have a problem with slugs and they're really really good for roses as well you can mix it in with a little bit of your seaweed ujimi flip that i had one that i showed you on my stories like a few years ago i think envy that's the one i've got the envy seaweed thingy jig <laughs> technical term you can add it to that and uh, use it to water your plants as well and it works really really well I'm going to be collecting all of these and taking them to my greenhouse and then just adding them to the soil around my veggies which is really good another thing that has finally arrived which we've been waiting a couple of weeks for we knew we were going to be waiting a couple of weeks for them is the rest of our order from Sophia Ceramics we ordered some mugs some plates and some breakfast bowls I need to order the pasta bowls and I also wanted to make a bespoke order as well of some egg cups but um, they're quite jam-packed with restaurant orders because of everything opening back up at the moment so I think things are on a really long lead time I think I just got in there before the announcement was made that things were opening so this came actually quite in quite good time we've got the mugs out already I really wanted to serve Ali his morning coffee in this mug so I got two of them out some of the bowls are over there our kitchen needs a bit of a zhuzh i'm gonna get the rest of the order open with you now so we can get them put away and start using them but i'm so happy you really like them don't you mm. what are you looking at water <laughs> he's taking his his rabbit ear for a walk isn't he out of all of the mugs that we've ever brought i think these are my most favorite yeah this was what i actually really like the way that they've kind of put like a varnished finish yeah and then it's raw here and I love yeah, that's a, the bottom. yeah. Really lovely. that's kind of like a typical earthenware, stoneware yeah. style. But this was the thing that and I was. Friendly. No, they're not. They say on the website, they say they are all dishwasher safe and microwave safe and all of those things. They did say to preserve the beauty of them, hand wash them. Right. But if you put them in the dishwasher, they won't shrink. They won't shrink in the dishwasher. <laughs> But um, I've put lots of the plates in it. I'm guessing over time they may lose their sort of effect. But we'll see because we've been putting the plates in the dishwasher anyway. So it's not too bad. 
These are the breakfast bowls that I bought, but these will also be really handy for just putting little picky bits in, which is something that we always love to do. I bought eight of these. I basically bought eight of everything because that's generally how many people fit around our main table. Obviously, we are not entertaining around this table, but we do have our Oxenwood table arriving soon, which is also, I think it's an eight to 10 seater, but we have eight seats. So it works really well. These that I'm opening up right now are the dinner plates. I'm very, very, very happy with these. I think they look so lovely. And what we've done is we've packaged up one of our old dinnerware sets that we're gonna save for when we get our cottage, which would be just like a practical use. And that's kind of what we're doing with things like that is that, because we know we've got somewhere, but we don't know we've got somewhere. But when we know that we've got somewhere, we've got all of our stuff to go, which is good. Now we've got lovely plates and Ali is understanding why I wanted them. <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah, very pretty. And they're all handmade by a lady in London and she just she supplies loads of restaurants as well. I don't know what restaurants, but they're all completely handmade, which I think is just wonderful. So if you're thinking about ordering them, that will be why they take so long to arrive, because she hand makes them all. With great consistency, I must add. I've just had a quick harvest of the spinach and rocket. I thought my rocket had gone to seed and therefore it wasn't gonna be any good, but I had a little look online and it said that actually rocket flowers and they're actually still used in cooking. So I'm guessing that they're still all right, but only time will tell when we've tried it and tested it and tasted it. It can be used as a substitute for spinach as well. So I thought that I would harvest some for Ali because we've got loads. I have just ordered some more spinach seeds as well because we're actually getting through the spinach as well because it's great to be using it in smoothies and things like like that and I'd like to use them. So they need a good wash, but not a bad harvest for the day. This little angel has found her happy place again. She was probably the most disrupted out of all of the little fur babies, including Ali, <laughs> because she lost her bed and she couldn't work it out. She just could not work out why she didn't have her bed anymore. And so now she's back to the Queen of Sheba in her very new bed. And we are getting a mattress for the bed, which is an absolute breakthrough. We have um, discovered a company that make mattresses in bespoke sizes, which is just game changing. So at the moment we are sending through like all of the specs and things like that for the mattress. So that should be with us soon. We've got the uh, curtains closed a little bit for little Lummy. And then this little boy is being a good boy in here. Aren't you my little boy? He had a very busy day yesterday. Please don't mind my socks by the way. The weather has officially turned. It is a miserable, windy day. So windy that even this little man doesn't want to go outside. He's like, absolutely not, mum. Every time I open the door, he's like, what kind of dog do you take me for? I certainly do not go outside in this weather. <laughs> oh dear, it's so windy and so wet, but exactly what our garden needs. The only thing I'm worried about is if the guys are gonna come and do the flower beds. That is my slight concern, but if it's like this, I think they'll be able to do it. So I thought that before Ali and I head out, we are heading to Waitrose today. We need to get some food and some bits and bobs. I also obviously want to stop off and grab the blossoms so that I can make my jam and just get some food because we are actually eating out of house and home. So yeah, we're gonna head to Waitrose to get some bits and bobs. And I think it's gonna be a sort of chilled evening in front of the fire, to be perfectly honest, because it is one of those days. This has honestly been such a miserable, it's not been a miserable, but it's been a cold, March and April. I keep saying to people, I'm like, do you remember what it was like last March? Last March, it was like a blooming heat wave. But I appreciate that that affects things like plants and blah, blah, blah. So hopefully we'll still have a lovely heat wave at some point. <sighs> Just don't want to trust the English, uh, English weather. So I'm going to pop, pop something warm on and I'll see if little Mr. Puppy Dog will come outside with me because he usually likes to go outside together. It's like, it's a group thing when we go outside. You ready to go outside, little boy? You chewing on your bully stick. But first up, I'm gonna have some water because I am very, very thirsty. As you can hear, it is very windy out here at the moment. I was very, very busy in the afternoon yesterday, but it looks like the wind has been busier than I have been 
because it has blown over a lot of my stuff. These are my cast iron cloches that I picked up from the old flight house. They're from a brand called Cook and Butler and they do the most amazing little miniature greenhouses as well. I'll link them down below. They say they're not taking any more orders but I'll link them anyway and I've got two more of these on order as well. I've got a um, well I've actually got another one of these being fixed the bigger ones and then I've got another one coming as well just an individual one and then I got two little small ones as well that are currently helping these little guys I'm gonna put it I need to put them on the uh, chives as well because the chives need a little help in hand I've also stuck my straw that came from my Dalesford trug around my strawberries in order to help them the Swiss chard is coming up everything is getting a nice little sprinkle and also definitely some of my purple sprouting broccoli have survived which is fabulous fabulous news my willow obelisks have blown over I've had a bit of a switch up at the front as well I've got some old buckets out here I've got a rose bush and a peony bush so we've had a little bit of a change up as well my raspberries have, have blown over I've decided that my raspberries are going to go down this side here and my pumpkins are going to go this side because I don't want anything to obstruct the view obviously you can see everything is growing up you can see all the cow parsley coming through sadly we don't have quite so much here yet but hopefully the rain over the next few days is going to help with that because we really really want this to sort of come together and start looking nice this guy is thriving and I am going to give you the bed tour of how things are going to look I also wanted to show you these oh my gosh best purchase ever I will show you these at night because these are solar powered like spotlights that you plug into the floor so they look like they're fitted but actually they're just on a spike and you pull them out Ali fitted these for me yesterday we fitted eight of them along the run of the garden and also at the front of the, the greenhouse there I've got some more coming because we're going to add a few more lights I think but they are wonderful they were like 26 pounds from Amazon such a great find I, I was following a, a lady called I don't know who it is but I always get so confused by all of the um, home accounts it's called my London home and she put them on there and I was like oh my goodness this is the best thing ever because we were literally looking at having to completely like pull up the floor in order to add lights so that you can see where you're going I'm coming out here at the moment though to grab my Milwaukee scissors so that I can grab some blossom. I've had a little bit of a change up in here as well. Just um, moved things around, given everything a water. Got some hydrangeas and buckets and we've got some sprouts coming up. I've also, actually I need to put these out so that they can be hardened off because these peony, uh, peonies, these sweet peas are going to be going out soon. So I'm actually going to pop them out on the beds just to start the hardening off process but so far everything is kind of coming up well my monge too everything doing as it should basically oh and i've got some new boxes as well for the little window areas here which i thought looked quite nice but yeah that's a little update of in here i'm not going to do too much gardening content with you today though because it's not a gardening vlog i just thought i'd update you but i am going to show you the designs for the raised beds and the beds at the front of the house as well and give you a bit of a walkthrough when we get back from the shops so i'll just leave these out for the rest of the day and then before the evening they will go back into the greenhouse sadly a little puppy dog chewed on this one so it's looking a little bit sad but the majority of them should all be ready to go onto the that's very windy obelisks that are blowing around the garden at the moment very soon cute <laughs> porter's like dad get out of my bed <laughs> You enjoying having daddy tongue. there? <laughs> yes, look at those puppy dog eyes. So handsome. I think it's safe to say that Waitrose is my favourite place to come shopping. And look, they've even got birds and solitary beehives. Just goes to show how far we've come. And gardening stuff. It's like they knew we were coming. I love that we were just coming for some picky bits and in reality we just use it to stock up on all of our favourite things. Like I love picking up really posh extra virgin olive oil when I come here. It's my absolute favourite. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. Waitrose is my favourite, favourite, favourite place to go. Like I just love it. <laughs> It's so good in terms of like, I just always get the yummiest foods. I mean, it's not good when I'm trying to eat healthy, but we now have a, a kitchen full of goodness 
Um, it's just started to rain though, and Hadi's already eating his Heston sub. That's a Heston sub, isn't it? Huh? Is it? Yeah, it's from the Heston range. Mm. What is that? Salted Salt beef. beef pretzel. Ooh, pretzel. that does sound nice. And now we're gonna go and find my blossom tree, which I'm looking forward to. Have fun. It's cold and wet. Yeah. I think I've got enough. Yeah, lovely. Don't they? Yeah. So I'm gonna go in the jam. I hope I've got enough. I think I have. You said two cupfuls. Yeah, do you not think that that's enough? Is it like two cupfuls of buds or leaves? Yeah, it's a cup of um, petals. So I got my cherry blossom. I'm gonna give that a wash. And this is everything that we got from Marks and Spencers. I stopped up on some New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. So we got this one, which is Craggy Range, some Crooks, and one Mud House. There was only one, ha one Mud House in stock, so I did a little bit of a trial run of some others. We've got some brioche buns. We have crisps, because we just go through crisps so quickly. I always like to get some orange juice from Waitrose as well. I think that orange juice is so good. We've got some chicken liver parfait, picky bits, three cheese bake, hummus. I've got my reading for this evening, some good housekeeping. And I also picked up some flowers just to replace the ones in our bedroom because they're on their way out and I've really enjoyed having them. So I thought I could quickly spruce that area up as well and then get on with making my jam. So both babies are asleep, well, in their beds anyway, and I've got myself two little jam jars of cherry blossom jam, and I'm gonna have some on my breakfast tomorrow morning, and I shall see you in the morning because I didn't finish off vlogging today because I am so tired. Can you tell by the size of my alfalfa sprouts how tired I am, so bed for me. See you in the morning. I just realized I didn't show you my little restyle of the dining table. I used a lot of the old greenery from the flower display in our bedroom. And they had these really, they're quite autumnal, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully these little yellow ujimi flips will um, give it a bit more of a spring feel. But I love this plant. I actually don't know what this plant is called, but it's got like a red stem and then quite ashy, dark green leaves. You probably can't see around here. Let me come around this way. Hello sausage. Yeah, so I've just given that a little bit of a revamp. And I also did the flower displays in the bedroom on the bedside table and on the little table in there, but I'm not gonna show you because the cleaners are in there at the moment. But today is the day. Our beds are all being ripped out. So it's gonna be, it's gonna get bad before it gets worse. No, <laughs> it's gonna get bad before it gets better. So I thought I'd give you a tour of each of the, the, the flower beds quickly and um, show you what we've got planned on screen. I've got little plans and hopefully that'll make it clear. I did this over on my home account as well, but hopefully this will make it a little bit easier. I'm hoping you're gonna be able to hear me because it's extremely windy outside at the moment. Very, very windy, but we're gonna do our best. So these beds here are going to be added to our irrigation system and all of these buxus balls are being moved out of this bed and they are going to be moved into this bed. So we're gonna have all of our buxus. Now, obviously I know that there's loads of issues with buxus balls. We have two balls that have blight, but they are being removed. Our ones around the front thrive. They've always been there. So fingers crossed we don't have any more, but these are all being moved to this bed and I will pop on screen the plan for this bed to this side here and you can see how it's all gonna look and honestly it looks amazing and then the same with this bed um, this is gonna be really really beautiful this bed it's probably gonna be the biggest sort of like glow up the guys are gonna string up our wisteria for us as well but basically all of this is coming out except for the buxus balls and I'm gonna make use of all of like the flowering plants like the hostas and the, uh, the hydrangeas like my hydrangeas are all gonna go into my cut flower garden over there and like I said these are all gonna be added to the irrigation system which is gonna be good oh my gosh so windy so windy 
<laughs> help me around here now i don't actually have a plan for this bed other than the fact that this is going to be our like rose area which is what i always wanted to achieve hence why i spent a fortune on these david austin roses but what i didn't know how to do was to get roses to look good on their own but not have loads of soil visible so the guys are going to come in and they're going to add box hedging around here so that you can't see the ground and there's just going to be these frothy roses coming up around there now down here we've got our peat free soil the guys are going to be sorting out all of the soil and then these conifers are all coming out and we're going to add lights down there as well to really kind of light this area up and this is going to be all hydrangea annabelles and lots of other things i'll pop the details of this bed on the screen here and then this is I'm really excited for this bed because this is a little bit different. We're keeping this, which is the most beautiful silver birch. I didn't even know that this was a silver birch to be honest, but we found that out it's a, called a Snow Queen, I think. And um, that's all, that's staying. These are all coming out. Box hedging is staying. Look at my little sausage. And I'll pop the little plan on screen for this bed here, but it's got like grasses, a lot more greenery in it as well, which I quite like, which will soften this area nicely. Now, the real fun part is going to happen in here. So we're keeping all of our boxes balls like i said these guys have done really really well in these beds but everything else apart from the wisteria is coming out so lavender's going we're not going to have lavender in these beds anymore because the lavender just doesn't do well here it gets really twiggy and there's actually no lavender going in in the beds like extra we've got other really beautiful purple flowers like salvia and things like that to go into these beds to create that look of those sort of more lavender flower beds without the issues that we have with lavender because this just never looks good and I'll pop on screen the plan for our two little uh, raised planters out here we've got my Winchester Cathedral roses going in here which is going to be phenomenal to have roses in these beds it's going to look so so wonderful both of the fur babies are helping me give you this tour but I will pop the pop on screen all of the plants that we're using and I'll show you the progress throughout the day as well because it's going to get very very messy come on sausage come on also i haven't mentioned because i don't know if you can tell but i woke up with the puffiest eyes today i've ever seen i put on some um lano on my eyes but i think maybe i've left the lid off it and it's not in a good state because my eyes were like oh and so i think We've got a little bit of eczema on the eyes at the moment, but on the whole, my skin is in a really good place. I can always tell when I'm, I'm personally in a really good place because my skin looks good, because if ever I'm like stressed or anxious, it shows on my skin. So that is my biggest giveaway. But at the moment, I'm not even wearing any foundation, which is fab. It's been a long road to get to this point again, but I'm very happy. So that is the plan for the beds. I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks at the end of the day. It's not gonna be beautiful, but it is gonna be a nice little cliffhanger for me to leave this vlog on so that hopefully in the next video you will see everything planted and ready to go.